Good morning, my name is Reverend Annie Gordon and I'll be your speaker for today. We invite you to come and be with us, attend to our services. We start our services at 1130, it's located at 6758 South Wabash Avenue. And I will be speaking from the book of Romans, 12th chapter. So I pray. May Heavenly Father, we come right now to tell you thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the opportunity, May Heavenly Father. We ask you right now to just anoint me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, May Heavenly Father. Touch right now and deliver right now, May Heavenly Father. We ask you right now, just bless this church. Give us strength. Give us courage. Lord, give us unity. And we'll be so careful to give you the praise and give you the glory. In everything we do, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So, my scripture, we will be taken from the book of Romans, 12th chapter 1 through 3. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this word, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, yes. that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm. For I say through the grace mm. given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly well, than well, he well, ought well. to think, mm -hmm. but think soberly according to, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Yes, Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word for the edification of our soul. Amen. And today I would like to speak on uh, spiritual vitamins for the soul. Amen. This this is the my day to speak. Uh, and I was during the week I was got kind of ticked off <laughs> about some stuff that was in the news. Uh -oh. And you don't want to tick off the gray headed lady. <laughs> yes, I, I just. So I just said, well, I just speak on this subject. So Paul was writing to Paul was writing to the uh, believers. He was not writing to the peoples of the world. He was writing to the believers, spirit-filled Christians. That's who Paul was writing to, and. These Christians experience that they had had not affected their bodies. So uh, we are threefolds nature. We are spirit, soul, and we are bodies. Living mm. in a body. God deals with our spirit. He works with our spirit. So we are spirit, soul, and body. And the body we are to present. God told us, I mean, in Paul, right, it says, to present your bodies a living sacrifice. Well. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable <laughs> service. He told us to present our bodies. God, he, he didn't tell us he was going to do anything with our body because God worked with his, our spirit. Yeah, yeah. So he didn't tell us, he told us to do something with our bodies. Mm. Come on now. He don't want us to drink everything, sniff and snort and uh -oh, everything. Come on, come he wants us to take care of our, our bodies. That's what God told us. He didn't say he was going to do anything out of our body. He worked with our spirits. Mm. And as I was stating this here, I said, well, the Supreme Court want to be in charge of a pregnant woman's body. Uh-oh, mm. here she goes. How can you be in charge of a pregnant when you go call? When you're craving, when you at home, when you at home with, uh, and you can uh, a craving for a pickle or something. That's why she was ticked off. And you, and you want somebody to go to the store and get you something you're craving for? Are you gonna call the Supreme Court? Come on, boy. Hey. 
When you get all fat and out of shape and your feet swelling and out of everything, who are you going to call? The Supreme Court? You want to be in charge of somebody's body? When your water breaks and you got to go to the hospital, call on the Supreme Court. You want to be in charge of somebody's body? You can't be in charge of nobody's body. When your water breaks, you goodness for you call up to the governor, your governor, and tell him you got a baby coming in. <laughs> call him. Come on, preacher. You got Come to call on, these folks. Call them up. You got to let these folks know <laughs> that you can't take over. You can't take over my body. Because hmm. God said He wants us to take care of our own bodies. We're responsible for what we put in our body. We were supposed to be responsible for what we drink and what we eat. Because whatever we drink and what we eat, that's affect our body. Yes. Oh, my God. Anyway, since I got that off of my mind. <laughs> Come on, preacher. Paul tells us to do something. <laughs> then Paul tells us to do something with our mind. Yeah. I don't know what I ever get up here again, Pastor. <laughs> Come on, Bishop. Preach, preach, preach. I don't know what I ever get up here. Got your chance today. Everybody that out there, call up your governor and tell them. Tell them. Oh, Lord. How you going to be in charge of my body? You can't handle no woman's body. All right. <laughs> my God. He told us to do something with our mind. <laughs> do something with our mind. Our mind is our soul. You know, it's our, it's, you know, it, our mind is, uh, connects our spirit and body together. That's our mind is, is, uh, it connects us together because we are three parts. We all work together. But um, one of the greatest needs of the, of the church today is when we come to church, we are supposed to come to renew our mind. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we can learn how to live a better life. He told us in his, do not be conformed to this world. You know, we got to do things different from the world. So that's one of the reasons we come to church to learn how to renew our minds with good words and studying the word of God. Mm -hmm. And the, the, he says, and the mind becomes renewed when we study the word of God, when we come to Bible class and when we start had Sunday school and all, your mind is being renewed. Yeah. Telling right. us how it's one thing to believe the word of God mentally. But there's another th way when you really believe come on now. that what it says and you stand on the word of God. Yes. That's when it's going to get in your mind and you start putting it to, to uh, work. You start believing in the word of God. Knowing what God said is going to come to its pass. And on the first thing, the second vitamin that you need is prayer. Mm. Jesus had to pray. We got to pray in season and out of season. That's right. That's we got right. to always pray. Jesus had to slip away and pray. When he was baptized, he had to go and, and pray. And then the third is confess our sins. Mm. We have to confess our sins daily. Yes. I remember back here, I don't know how long, two or three years ago when one of our Reverend Eric was ordained. I hear people tell me that I want to uh, become a minister. <clears throat> And I tell them, if you want to be, if you feel that you've been called to become a minister, go and tell somebody. Mm. Tell your own people. Mm. Because hey, your own people is going to put you in shape. Thank Come you. Come on now. That your own, every time you go somewhere and want to feel like you want to smoke a cigarette or <laughs> take a shot, first thing they're going to say, I thought you was called. Ah. Say, Amen. Come on, preacher. I tell you. the truth. You preaching I, now. I thought you supposed to be a minister. Yeah. Why are you out there dancing? Why you can't do have no fun or nothing? Because that's it. 
Come on, preacher. Satan's going to be on your back every way. Oh. Everything you're going to do, they're they, they going to uh, tear you down. Ah. Tear you down. You can't even laugh straight. <laughs> you know. Oh. My God. My Lord. I don't know about next month. I don't know. <laughs> you doing all right. We should yeah. confess our sins. Because once we confess our sins, our, confessing our sins keeps our prayer line open. You know, for our blessing can flow. You say we, we should confess our sins daily. Seventy times seventy. Always mm. confess and keep our line, prayer line open. Yes, yes. I'm like through, you know. Sometimes we can do so much that it just clogs up our prayer line. Yes. Mm. So we should never, as Christians, unless we confess our sins. Come on. The fourth thing we should do is church attendance. Ah, say it again. Come <laughs> and be on time. What? Uh -oh. Be on time. <laughs> you know, we got to learn how to be on time for God. Yeah. We want God to be on time for us. Because yeah. if you come to church, come on preacher, now. If you come that. to church, come on, yeah, any old kind of way. My God, and then we look in any kind of way. You know, prepare yourself. You know, when John came, he came to prepare people right. to meet Jesus. You don't know when the blessing is going to come your way. That's it. You don't know. So That's you've got to be ready and be on time. Amen. Ah. Amen. You want God to be on time for you. You, got to, you don't have to just uh, 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 put on certain things, you know, but dress presentable. There you you know, dress presentable. Because clean yourself clean and be prepared. I remember when reading in the book of Exodus. I'm not sure what verse it is, but God told Moses to tell the people to wash the clothes, clean themselves mm -hmm. up, because I'm coming down and show ah. myself. So we're supposed to present ourselves because we don't know when God is going to show up. Yeah. You don't know when he's going to bless you. Yes. Present yourself. Because, uh, uh, and then uh, the fifth thing is meditation. Mm. We got to learn how to meditate on the word of God. Pray and meditate on the things that God has done for us. He's been good to us. Meditate on his goodness. Meditate on the vows that we have made to him. That we promised, made a promise. We're supposed to meditate on his goodness. Always meditate. Soul winning. Soul winning. Bringing people yes, to church, yes, inviting yes. people to come to church, meditate on the word of God, and invite people that to come to church. And you know, you if you come to church, you might not, uh, you might have to inspire someone else to come. That's right. To be on time. That's right. You know, and you'd be surprised at how you uh. Inspire other people by doing good. That's right. Just do good. Learn how to be good. And learn how to love each other. And mm. bless each other. Yeah. If you invite people to come to church and be a soul winning Christian. Mm. And God would say, what have you done to me? Mm. He'll tell you that I left heaven glory. To come down here come on, come on, to this shamefully earth for you. Mm. I died on the cross for you. Mm. I shed in my blood for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 what is you going to do for me? Uh, 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 you know, we're supposed to be on this earth, you know. He tell us what he want us to do. He, you know, God is the CEO of this whole universe. Uh, I like that. Yeah. He's the CEO of, and we are his workmen. Come on. Hmm. He, we are his workmen. He tell us what he want us to do. And we're supposed to get busy hmm. and do what God tell us That's to do, right. what he want us to do. Yeah. But if we pay attention and pray and listen to what he says, 
He'll tell us and bless us and do whatever he told us to do. He said, I died on the cross and shed in my blood for you. Are you living a life that's going to affect me? One day you're going to come and you're going to have to face me face to face. Yeah. And are you living a life that when you get to heaven, mm -hmm. you will hear him say, well done, my Hallelujah. good and Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. All the time. He says in 3 John, I wish about all things that thou might prosper in good, good health, even as our soul prosper. Mm. He want our soul to prosper. Yes, he does. Yes, yes, yes. More than you. Yes. Study the word of God. Pray, meditate. Thank him for what he has already done. Yes. Study the word of God. Yes, 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 yes. Let your soul prosper because God works through our spirit. Mm. There's some things get in our spirit mm. but haven't made it to our soul yet. Mm. We don't really know how it's going to happen, but you know your spirit has told you. You can't really figure it out. But if we meditate on the word of God, pray, he'll tell us and put it yes, down in our souls. And if we get out of whatever going on in our soul, it's going to show on the outside. Yeah. It's going to show on the outside. Whatever going on in your mind, it's going to show on the outside. Mm. Yes. Whatever way you, whatever you do, it's going to show on the outside. If you out there walking the streets and you, well, maybe I shouldn't say that, but it's. <laughs> you going to do it now. Go ahead. <laughs> if you out there walking the streets and you got on your real short dress and your high heel shoes, you telling the word who, what you are. Yeah. You telling the word what you hey. are. Make it plain. Hey. Come on, preacher. You know, so that's what's going on inside of you. So, you know, that's what's down in your soul because that's what's going on on the inside of you. So you, it's coming out on the outside. Mm. Until you start coming and learning the word of God, then you will change your way of thinking. Woo. And then you would change your action. Ah. Yes, yes. And you would change your way of dressing. Because that's what church is all about, teaching us. We're not to be, and the scripture always said, do not be tra transformed to this world. Don't do what the world do. You know, we got to stop following the world. Yeah. You know, but I was listening to Last week, I don't want to call nobody name, but we got the Bible and all the instructions here, and they tell us to speak the word of God, teach us how to speak the word of God, and speak things into existence and all that stuff. But there was a news all last week, and this man was calling up the the governors and all them people that telling them to speak a certain phrase. If you just speak it, they say I won. You say and and, and they would tell them, I need proof that you won mm. the election. He said, You don't need no proof, just speak it. Ah. That's what he said. Just speak it. And we here in church, and we got the instruction mm. telling us to speak the word of God. Come on now. Come on now. And we can't even speak the Come word of God. Come on now. He, we, that, that's powerful in mm. speaking the word of Come God. Come on now. Yes. Come on, preacher. You know, if the people that in the word know there's power in speaking the word of God, we should know it here. Ah. And we should speak it. Yes, yes, yes. It's two or three, gather the gather. In my name, in, my name, in on, a touch in the Greek, and that's speaking. He said we can move mountains. If that's we speak right. The word of God. That's right. But we let somebody that out there in the world know 
that there's power in speaking the word of God. Mm. We got to do better. Come on. We got to do better. Mm -hmm. We can't let the outsiders do better than we do. Oh, I told the pastor this morning, you got to be some millionaires up in here. Yes, it is. Ah! God bless yes, you. It is. <laughs> Amen. 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 Up in here, up in here.